Kids and Dave, can you please come to the living room? What is it, Catherine? Today, we are going to Regal Cinemas to see Dragon Ball Superhero. Awesome. I can't wait to see that movie. It's gonna be amazing. I know, Brian. This is gonna be so amazing. What? No. I don't want to Regal Cinemas to watch Dragon Ball Superhero. I want to stay home and watch Barney and Friends. Dave, you're not staying home to watch Barney. You're coming with us to Regal Cinemas so we can watch Dragon Ball Superhero. Besides, you are way too old for Barney. Barney is for toddlers and preschoolers, and is not age-appropriate for people your age. Dragon Ball Superhero is age-appropriate for you, so that's where we're going to see. Why? I wanna watch Stay Home and watch Barney. Not go to Regal Cinemas to watch Dragon Ball Superhero. Dave, stop it. You're not staying home to watch Barney, you're coming with us to Regal Cinemas to watch Dragon Ball Superhero and that is a capital final. I wanna stay home and watch Barney. 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 Why? going to Regal Cinemas and that is final. Now I'm gonna carry you to the car. Our trip to the movies is gonna be so embarrassing. You said it brain. I am so extremely angry right now. Wanna know why? It is because we now have to pay $750 for what Andy and General Gaijin did. Are you serious? Now we have to earn a bunch more money in our jobs. Oh, and I'm about to get fired 150 times in there by. If I get fired one more time, I will ultimately go to sick. Forget this. I'm going to calm down and head to my next job at Regal Cinemas. Also, I convinced some of my gang members to work with me. Now to get going. Welcome to Regal Cinemas. How may we help you? Actually, all three of us are here to break a bunch of crap in here. Okay. Go ahead. Also, you can join my gang at my next job. We're here to destroy the movie screens here. Okay. Go ahead. Also, you can join my gang at my next job. We're here to help destroy this movie theater. Also, I'm going to use my fire powers to burn this place to the ground. And we would also like to join your gang at your next job. Okay. Go ahead. We would also like to help destroy a bunch of crap and beat the crap out of some people. And we're gonna watch you serve the customers at your next job. Sure. Go ahead. Welcome to... No! Thank you and some of our gang members. I think we're not going anywhere this time. Since you all came here to try to ground some of our gang members, we're all going to teach you a strong strict lesson. Everyone, except for the ones who don't want to be a part of this, kill them.
super mega fusion blow. Serves all of you right for trying to ground us and for grounding us non-stop. This is why you don't ever mess with your mighty Mr. and Miss Clones. I agree with my boyfriend. Me too. Also, we are their real parents, not you. And our kids told us everything about you grounding them non-stop, and we were extremely furious when they told us about it. Hopefully this taught you a lesson on to never punish our children for no reason at all. I agree with my husband. Now we are throwing you out. I hope we didn't get caught. Now to move on. Welcome. Don't go say anything. We literally saw, that's all. Since you tried to call us out for what we did to the fake parents of our friends, everyone, except for the ones who don't want to be a part of this, get them. <laughs>
I hope that taught our kitty clones a lesson. Now to move on. That's right my good clone. You better stay out of here and never ever come back. Welcome to Regal Cinemas. How may we help you? Actually, we're here, actually, we're here to tell this employee in the front that not only will we join his gang at his next job, but we're gonna help a bunch of troublemakers destroy everything in this place. Okay then. Go ahead. We're gonna help those troublemakers break everything in here and destroy the movie screens, and we will also join your gang at your next job. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. You better leave and don't come back. Yeah, both of you get lost as well. One more customer leaves without saying anything and we will not be happy at all. Now to move on. Welcome. Okay, no. Out the door now. Our friends told us everything about you. Never. I'm not leaving until you pay me your house payments and those hospital bills you have. Um, we don't have a house. We have a space hotel. Now get out. No. I am not leaving until I get my house payment and those bills you owe everyone attacked. Now give me your house payment right now. Oh, and I'm gonna back you to them. Okay. Bring it on. You brought this crap to yourself. Now to call security. Now that this is taken care of, let's move on. Welcome to Regal Cinemas. How may we help you? All three of us are gonna join your gang, because we are huge fans of you. Okay. Go ahead. I am so happy to be reunited with my boyfriend Classic David. Same here but with my brother and my sister. But anyways, let's move on.
hope she didn't get caught. Never move on. Okay everyone, we are now at Regal Cinemas. And Dave, you better deal with the fact that you're not staying home to watch Barney. And you better not throw a temper tantrum just like at Blaze Pizza. Now come on. But Catherine? No books. Now get in the theatre. Welcome. So, um, looks like we meet again. Um, yeah. So, looks like we all meet again ever since we saw each other at Blaze Pizza. So, how may we help you? We'll just get four tickets to see the Dragon Ball superhero movie with the large popcorn and four sodas, please. That's all. But Catherine, I don't want to watch Dragon Ball Superhero. I want to go home and watch Barney and Friends. Dave, how many times do I have to tell you? You are too old for Barney, and you need to watch shows and movies that are appropriate for your age. Barney's are appropriate for preschoolers and toddlers, and Dragon Ball Superhero is appropriate for people your age. No. I am not too old for Barney, and I don't want to watch that crappy movie. I want to go home and watch Barney. War Dave, stop it. We are not taking you home to watch Barney. We are watching Dragon Ball Superhero and that's final. Now shut up and stop acting like a big baby. If I had to guess, he's about to throw a temper tantrum. Am I right? Right, you a devious diesel. And I think it's coming in 3, 2, 1, 0. <laughs> I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. Dave, stop it. Stop throwing a tantrum like a toddler right now. You are a grown up, and grown ups don't throw temper tantrums. And look, now everybody is looking at us. You are not only embarrassing yourself, but you are embarrassing me and the kids. Honestly, I have to agree with her. You really need to stop this. You are like 30-something years old and you act like a little kid. In fact, some of our friends over there are all starting to get annoyed. Lady, you seriously need to do the right thing and divorce him already. Are you really gonna deal with a man-child of a husband your whole life? I'm sorry, but I can't do that. I really don't know why I'm still married to him, and I really want to, but he will literally go crazy if I do. And Dave, you better stop with this childish behavior right now. I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. I wanna go home and watch Barney and Friends. seen a grown man acting childish at a movie theater before. He should be ashamed of himself. I agree. He is literally embarrassing himself in front of everyone. I cannot believe those two kids called me childish. I'm going to sue those kids in court. Dave, stop it. You are starting to annoy everybody in here. You know what? We're going to a different movie theater to see Dragon Ball Superhero. Now I'm going to carry you to the car. Yeah, you should get him out of here because he is annoying the crap out of us. Will do. 
and sorry for wasting your time again. It's fine. Just get him out of our sights because we can't stand his temper tantrums anymore. Will do. And again, sorry for wasting your time. Entitled Karen, I demand that you put me down this instant. I do not deserve to be treated this way. Why? Dave, how many times do I have to tell you? I am not a Karen. Stop calling me a Karen because I do not act like one. When we get back home after leaving the different movie theatre, you are going straight to your room, and you will be grounded for an extra week. Ugh. Why is that lady still married to that man-child? I don't know Charmi. But if I have to listen to his tantrums one more time, I will seriously lose it. I don't blame you, Levi. But at least he's gone now. Anyways, let's move on. Welcome. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Are you serious right now? No. Butters, why are you out of jail after you were sent there? Just why? Oh, my God. I can't believe we are meeting you all again. And we cannot believe you got Butters into ultra trouble. He told us everything and now, he can't return to South Park anymore. Yeah! We can't believe you actually did this to our best friend. Now everyone is against him now. Thanks to you wanted jerks. You made him the worst person ever in the whole entire world. Well, thanks a lot. Now that you've exposed all the bad things I did in my show, the entire world is now against me including some of my friends. They banned me from their lives forever, but I'm glad my remaining friends and my family stood by my side. They were in big shock when I told them the whole thing. I'm still scared because lots of people are scared of me. You saw what happened. Well guess what? We don't regret what we did, and people were gonna find out about your terrible actions from your show anyways. Honestly, I know why you keep exposing our friends. It's because you were tired of people talking about the crap you did. So you expose your worst enemy's wrongdoings only to justify your bad actions. Maybe that's why you keep doing it. Honestly, my fusion partner is right. You guys keep on exposing people for the bad stuff they did in the past only to justify your own. Maybe it's because you want everyone to consider them worse than you. Well guess what? It's not gonna work anymore. Oh, that is not true at all. We expose them because they keep causing us trouble, so we want them sent away so we don't have to worry about them. And guess what? Since you four decided to come inherent here and mention what we did at Brandon's previous job, we're going to... Did you forget, forget that we confused, confused together? together? It doesn't even matter. You are still incredibly outnumbered, so there is no way you can win against us. Oh, think again. But has told us everything about what you did to him, and we are extremely furious at all of you for exposing him and getting him into huge trouble. First you did this to Dan Hamming, then you did it to me, and now you did it to Butters. Are you serious? Yeah. You're gonna wish you never got one of my gang members exposed. Also, we have an equal amount of people for this battle, so prepare for another defeat. Oh really? The last time we battle, we defeated you, and we're gonna defeat you all again. Oh, the result won't be like last time, because we will actually win and make you pay for exposing one of our friends. I don't think so. Brandon, let's fuse together. Good idea, General Guy. Okay. okay. Now, now it's time, it's for, this time for this to battle to commence. Okay! Come on guys. Let's teach them a lesson on to never expose one of our friends.
serves all of you right for getting our son into mega trouble. I agree with my husband. And if you even think about getting your police officers, security guards, or fake Barney on us, then you will so regret it big time. Now we're leaving. And just to let you know, we saw, we saw everything, everything you did in here, here. and when we were gonna tell your boss. Also, we made, we made a wish on the silver crystals from Sailor Moon to make your ability to teleport people into your sights and your ability to hypnotize people to come into your sights cease to exist, meaning that those two abilities have been made non-existent. And if you try to undo the wish, don't bother because that wish cannot be undone at all. Not even via logic. Your Not gang members with powers logic, or your powerful your items will run through the wish. Or your so you might as well handle the, the consequences we so just gave you. So you might as well handle the consequences we just gave you. But, but anyways, anyways, have, have fun, fun getting, getting fired, fired, you, you heartless, heartless psychopaths. psychopaths. I cannot believe we lost against those rude employee hunters again. And now we're about to get fired. How could things get any? Oh my god. There's smoke everywhere and half the theater is on fire. Everybody get out of here. Wait what? Please tell us he's joking. No. We're gonna get in so much trouble for letting a bunch of troublemakers destroy this place. Go on. Tell him what you did. If not, then we will. Okay, there's something going on. Customers are getting sick, and a gang full of people come in and cause trouble. If neither of you do not tell me, I'll just send the police over here. You know what? We're not going to lie anymore. We let a bunch of troublemakers burn down the movie screens, destroy a bunch of stuff, beat up people, force them to watch baby shows, and many more. Yeah. We were also being rude to the customers and even attacked some of them. First, we attacked the fake parents of some of our gang members, and when two people tried to call us out for what we did, we attacked them as well. We even let one of our gang members attack a tanker clone. Really? So you're telling me that you attacked a bunch of people in here? Yes. It's all true. Okay, no. I do not allow this crap to happen in my regal cinemas at all. Do you even realize what you did makes you psychopaths? Why did I ever hire you guys in the first place if you were gonna do stuff like this? Oh, and trust me. They've been doing this crap for two whole years, and they never regretted their actions. You. All true. And they were arrested at one point, but they escaped and continued to hurt more people. Are you serious? You've been doing this for two years and never regretted your actions at all, even after you got arrested. Are you kidding me right now? We are so sorry for the damage they've caused, sir. Trust us, we're not letting this happen again. It's okay, rude employee hunters. And to the employees I heart, do you not even realize what you guys just did? A lot of customers and some of our staff are now in the hospital thanks to you. Be lucky the entire movie theater didn't burn down. Oh, and here's one last thing we forgot to mention. Butters told us a story that in Brandon's previous job, he, Gerald and General Guy, got him into ultra trouble. They found some videos of Butters causing trouble in our show, and they literally had the nerve to show it to everyone around the whole world, including the police. And then, he got arrested and had to attend the Steve Vilkas show, which thank God he told the truth and passed the lie detector test. We knew he would never do things like this now. And now because of this, Butters is a worldwide outcast, thanks to these wanted jerks. Danny is right. And this isn't the first time they did this. Devious Diesel did this to Dan Hamming, and Brian and General Guy did this to me. That's right. They've gotten all of us into mega trouble. Oh, and I have proof of Brandon, Gerald and General Guy getting Butters exposed. Here it is. What? So you mean to tell me that they got one of you exposed? Yes. They even did this to Dan Hamming and Alan Crook. We're, We're gonna, gonna go, go now. now. See ya. See ya. I'm telling you you did all of this stuff. Oh my god. Brandon, do you see so? Gerald, Jimmy and Guy, Frank Skidzig, Levi, Frank Charlie, Bad Boris the Teeth Guy, Evil Dinosaur, Dark Butters, Dark Pip, Dark Day, Dark Banyan, Dark Scott, Dark Token, Dark Vehicle, and the rest of you, what is wrong with you? You have no clue at all on what you just did. And I actually can't believe you were rude to the customers, and attack a bunch of customers in here. And also, I cannot believe you let a bunch of customers get a whole bunch of terrible things in here. This type of behavior is seriously unacceptable. And Brandon, Gerald, and General Guy, I cannot believe you expose others in 
made in my world by the outcast of Braddock's previous job. You know exposing people for their bad actions only to justify your own is extremely unacceptable. That is so. Every single one of you who are fired and banned from this world of cinemas forever. You're no longer welcome here. Oh yeah. This is so going on in news as well. And when it does, every single one of you, except for the ones who stay out of it, will be considered as the most heartless criminals ever. And Frank Charlie B, since this is the fourth time you had some troublemakers destroy places, you will be even more times when you done before, and will be placed number eight on the biggest troublemakers list. And since you got another rude employee hunter exposed, you guys will be considered as the biggest rude employee hunter exposers of all time, and will forever be considered as the top one most dangerous criminals of all time. This means if you try to expose another rude employee hunter, it's not going to work with you because your actions will forever be worse than everyone else's. Also, I'm going to show the footage of you exposing buddies so that his reputation will be fixed, and it won't be a worldwide outcast anymore. And none of you will yet. I'm calling the cops and they're who right now. Oh crap. We're gonna be so screwed. Come on guys. Let's get out of here before we get caught. Oh no you don't. Cops, after them. Dave, words cannot describe how angry I am with you right now. I cannot believe you threw a temper tantrum at Regal Cinemas. You know what? That's it. You are grounded for an extra week. Go to your room right now and no watching baby shows. Why?